going to very quickly point out items in the Minerva Medical Device Solutions uh, of Innovator that helps with design control. Remember, design control is mandatory and talked about in FDA CFR Part 820.30 and ISO 1345 Section 7.3. After logging into Innovator, I navigate to the Design menu section. Here you will see a menu selection called Project Records. If you remember from our other presentation on Minerva's medical device PLM, design history files, device master records, and deliverable templates are created and then instantiated in a project. I see that I have three projects instantiated, one of which of them is off track. When I open the off-track project, I it will list the deliverables that are needed for that project. From this view, I can see the template of the DHF and the DMR. As discussed before, the DHF is the documentation of the product design and the product design process. This is where I will have my design inputs, outputs, verification, and validation plan. The DMR is the recipe on how to build a device. It has many of the design outputs, including the part, the bomb, the document describing the product, and how to build it. The deliverable matrix lists all the work that needs to be done to complete the development process of the device. It contains many different business objects of Innovator, including requirements, documents, parts, FMEAs, and risk analysis, just to name a few. The deliverable matrix also specifies the closing rule of the deliverable. This is what tells the system that the deliverable is finished and when finished, the deliverable is placed in the specified location in the DHF and or DMR. Looking at this deliverable matrix, I see that there are two items that are off track. One of them being the project charter. I also see that its completion rule is based upon the release of the deliverable, meaning that when the deliverable gets released, the deliverable line item itself will get set to a complete status. In this case, the project charter is a document and will get placed in the design and development planning section of the DHF. When I open the project charter up document, I see that it is placed in a change record for release. If I open up the change record, I see that in the sign off tab that it's awaiting for approval to approve this change record. I press the vote now button and say approve. And complete. Here I see that the change record now is released with the sign-off history. I see that the project charter is also released. And I see now that the deliverable line item in the deliverable matrix is also now closed. 
Looking from the device perspective, I have a view onto the DHF and the DMR. This is the view onto the DMR, and this is the view onto the DHF. It has a structure as defined in the DHF and the DMR template. In this case, looking at the DHF, I can look at the design and development plan section, and opening it up, I see the project charter with the status are released. If I wanted to view that project charter, I could open it and see it.